Hello, my name is Gabby Hobbs and I'm the Clinical Director of the Leukemia Service at the Massachusetts General Hospital. Today I'm going to talk about how to manage a young man with polycythemia vera and fatigue. One of the important things to remember when taking care of patients with polycythemia vera is that although the traditional risk stratification system score that is utilized to initiate cytoreduction reduction only takes into account thrombosis, symptoms are a huge part of the management of patients with MPNs. So generally, we start cytoreduction reduction for patients with polycythemia vera that are over the age of 60 or have had a thrombosis history. However, symptoms really can be extremitating for some patients. Fatigue is the most common symptom that patients have with PV. So I think there's a few things that are important to keep in mind when trying to manage a patient with fatigue and polycythemia vera. The first thing is to manage expectations and to fix what can be fixed and accept what cannot be fixed. So one thing that I think helps, helps a lot is to try to maximize all the things that surround the patient. So for example, having a uh, good sleep hygiene, making sure that other comorbidities are managed, um, limiting alcohol and eliminating smoking are really important to optimizing energy in patients. Um, in addition, some patients have other comorbid conditions that include depression and anxiety that can also worsen fatigue. Those should be managed as well. Um, helping patients to delegate some of their activities to other um, family members or if it's related to work is also important to take some um, responsibilities off their plate. Um, giving patients permission to take a break during the day, for example, a 30 minute nap or a 30 minute um, time to just do something that's a little bit different and helping patients to integrate exercise and having a well-balanced diet into their day-to-day -day living can make a big difference. And then lastly, if patients continue to experience symptoms and everything else has been maximized, then cytoreduction reduction can be considered for patients with PV, even if they don't meet the traditional risk factors for thrombosis that would normally prompt initiation of cytoreduction. reduction. So for a young person with polycythemia vera, it is important to first make sure the patient is on aspirin, that their phlebotomy is optimized and they're utilizing phlebotomy appropriately. And then lastly, uh, cytoreduction reduction can be started. First line therapy could be with either hydroxyurea or pegylated interferon, although pegylated interferon may not be as effective for improving fatigue. Um, and then ruxolitinib can also be considered in second line. And lastly, it's just important to support patients and make sure you utilize the MPN symptom assessment form to make sure that you're asking patients about all the symptoms that they may have.